Okay, now we will learn chapter 4, continuous variables and their probability distributions. Uh, for the probability distribution for continuous random variable, um, let's define the, the distribution function first. The distribution function for y, uh, denoted by fy, is uh, such that fy is uh, p of y is less than or equal to y. For, for minus infinity to infinity, uh, for y from minus infinity to infinity, and uh, this uh, distribution function is also called as cumulative distribution function. Let's look at the example uh, 4.1. Suppose that y has a binomial distribution with n equals 2 and p equals 1 over 2. Find uh, f of y. Okay, so y follows, uh, y follows binomial distribution, binomial distribution 2 1 over 2. And so uh, p0 is uh, 2 choose 0. 1 over 2 to 0, 1 over 2 to 2, which is 1 over 4. And similarly, we can calculate p of 1 is 1 over 2, and p of 2 is 1 over 4. And we'd like to find fy, which is probability of y is less than or equal to small y. And uh, to do that, here, uh, this x-axis is represent a y, and y-axis represent uh, f y, and um, I will change the color uh, with this thing. And uh, uh, if small y is less than um, zero, then it's uh, zero. So this part is zero, and if y uh, small y is um, if small y is, is equal to zero or greater than one, if if y is inside of this, uh, y is less than y. The, the the set here will contain the the point uh, will contain uh, this point mass. So so it jump at this point. It jump at uh, Point zero, uh, the amount is one over four, so one over four, and and it stays the same for uh, until y until y becomes one, and at point one, uh, there is point mass of one over two, so there is jump to here, it's three over four, and uh, it's step function, and at at uh, point two. There's another jump of uh, 1 over 4. Uh, so summing up 3 over 4 uh, plus 1 over 4 is 1. Uh, so it looks like this. Okay, so the f of y is something like this. Um, and we can also describe it as like this. F, f y is p of y is less than or equal to y. And it defined uh, this way. And um, as you may notice, uh, for the distribution functions for discrete random variables, uh, they are always step functions. Um, uh, they always have a probability mass on the point, um, just like this. Uh, in, in the discrete random variables, um, point mass, uh, the, the probability mass is on the point. So it's it's uh, there's jump at the point that have probability math and um, it stays the same for the uh, the ranges among that random variable. So, so this one looks like step functions. And uh, this is theorem four point one. Uh, properties of a distribution function. If f y is a distribution function, then f minus infinity uh, it can, is, is defined as limit y is y goes to minus infinity 
f y and this is uh, this goes to zero and uh, the second f infinity uh, which is limit y goes to infinity and f of y equals to one and for uh, for f y is a non decreasing function of y if y one and y two are any values such that y one is less than y two then f of y1 is less than f of y2 and actually uh, uh, this is um, this looks obvious but uh, the reason is that uh, if y goes to minus infinity uh, so f so the probability of y is uh, less than or equal to small y and uh, for the set for the set y is less than or equal to small y, uh, if y goes to minus infinity, uh, this set um, also goes to um, a null set. Uh, so, uh, so this one it becomes zero as as y goes to minus infinity, and also as y goes to infinity, uh, as uh, this small y goes to infinity this set y is less than small y this set uh, uh, approaches to the whole set uh, s so uh, um so the probability of the whole set uh, is one so uh, so the second property hold and uh, for this one if y1 is less than uh, y2 then then the set y is less than y1 and for the set y is less than y2 um, if if the the y2 is larger than y1 then uh, this set is subset of uh, of this so so the the probability of this thing probability of this thing uh, is probability of this thing is uh, less than or equal to probability of this thing okay and and we can check this situation from the uh, the previous exercise so we can check that f of minus infinity is zero and um, as limit of y goes to infinity f y uh, becomes one and also if y1 is less than y2 for any or uh, any of y1 and y2 uh, the, the f y1 uh, this point is smaller than uh, this one so so the distribution function is always uh, increasing okay so this is the properties of the distribution function uh, here is definition 4.2. A random variable y with distribution function fy is said to be continuous if fy is continuous for for the domain uh, y is uh, defined on minus infinity to infinity. Okay, so for the continuous function, um, the, the example of the continuous function uh, looks like this. So it's zero for here, and then uh, it's continuous increasing function, and um, yeah. Okay, here is definition four point three. Uh, let y let f y be the distribution function for continuous random variable of y. Then uh, f y given by uh, this uh, wherever the derivative exists is called the probability density function uh, for the random variable y so now here comes the probability de definition of probability density function uh, so what if what this means is that um, f of y uh, is actually probability of uh, y is less than or equal to y and uh, this this one uh, from from here by the definition here uh, it can be written as 
uh, sigma minus the infinity to y um, f y uh, d y and the situation is like this uh, here is the 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 uh, density function f y and um, we, so the f y the area of the curve to y zero uh, is it's f of y zero. Uh, we have this kind of relationship. Okay. And here's the theorem four point two uh, pro properties of the density function. If f y is density function for a continuous random variable, then these two uh, uh, two conditions are hold. Uh, the first one is f y is greater than or equal to zero for all y. Uh, y is defined on uh, minus infinity to infinity, and the second uh, sigma minus infinity to infinity f y uh, dy is uh, one uh, integral integration of minus minus infinity to infinity. Uh, this is one, and actually uh, this condition. Uh, derived from the previous uh, previous formula. Uh, previously, uh, what we know is uh, f y uh, is uh, f y uh, d y, and here f y uh, the 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 f y is increasing function, increasing function. So since this f y is increasing function uh, the derivative is always greater than or equal to zero the, the derivative is the uh, uh, the the, the uh, uh, derivative is this thing uh, it's always greater than or equal to zero uh, so the condition one hold and what about the condition two? And the condition two is actually uh, f y. Uh, the the as n as uh, the y goes to infinity, it reaches to one. It reaches to one. And what it means that uh, uh, integration of minus infinity to infinity f y dy equals one. Okay. So this this is proof for the uh, for these two properties. And actually, there's uh, uh, the similarities from the properties of discrete case. Um, the probability density function uh, in the discrete, discrete case, uh, we have probability mass function, which is P of y. And P, uh, in, for the properties of discrete case, P of each P of y is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. Um, the, 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 this is first property of the, uh, the probability mass function case and second uh, sum of all probability mass uh, equals 1 and this have similarity with the second property okay okay let's check uh, examples from next week thank you